This is Josh Modisette of equinereproduction.com. We're looking at a mare that's standing in the stocks preparatory to having an embryo transfer flush performed. Uh, she's been prepped up. She's had her vulval region washed. She's got a tail wrap on, um, and that tail is kept out of the way now to avoid recontamination. She is tranquilized. That's why she's standing there with a goofy expression on her face and a drip, droopy lower lip and her head right down. Uh, it's a good idea to tranquilize because she's going to be standing in these stocks for uh, a little bit of a time frame um, while the flush occurs um, so that we, uh, we don't want her moving around too much at that point. The process of embryo transfer is where an embryo is removed from the donor mare, and uh, this is the donor mare we're looking at, um, and uh, it's actually transferred into a recipient mare. The purpose behind that, multifold, there are um, several reasons one might want to do that. One, for example, would be if you've got a, a mare that's in competition, a donor mare that's in competition, and you don't want her to have a pregnancy and have to take her out of competition for that, so you can flush the embryo and transfer that into a recipient. Uh, another possibility is a mare that perhaps has got some reproductive damage, such as a damaged cervix or uh, a tremendous amount of uterine damage uh, that's going to prevent her from carrying a pregnancy over a long-term period. Uh, so all areas where one might uh, consider embryo transfer as an option. Another possibility would be if you want to actually produce multiple foals from a mare in any given year. Because if you're lucky and things work according to plan, you may end up actually getting as many as eight foals a year out of the um, out of the mare, it's a possibility. So, purpose behind embryo transfer, multifold. Looking here at the um, at the incubator, and um, Jamie is in the process of uh, fixing the tubing to a bag of uh, embryo flush. It's a flush media. This is what's actually going to be run into the mare. That's what he's holding up there right now. Um, the tubing allows the fluid to run down into a Foley catheter, um, which is inside that pink bag at the moment. The Foley catheter is sterile. That's going to be, in a moment, be introduced into the mare through her vagina, in through her cervix, and uh, then the cuff will be inflated um, to uh, prevent a backflow of the fluid back out. It'll be inflated and pulled back against the cervix, um, and then the fluid will be run in. And once all the fluid or a significant portion of the fluid has been run in, uh, the little stopcocks that are on there, you can see the blue and red clamps, um, they will be turned off and the fluid then is drained back out through a filter, uh, which hopefully will capture a, an embryo. Uh, not all embryo flushes are going to yield an embryo. Statistically speaking, about 50% of flushes will yield an embryo. That's statistically. Now, of course, there are lies, damned lies in statistics, so we may end up getting no embryo or we may end up getting multiple embryos you never can tell so Jamie's in the process of introducing air into the cuff uh, that's at the end of the Foley catheter that's now been placed inside the mare's uterus and in a moment uh, the whole Foley will be pulled back just a little bit there we go to actually position the cuff against the uh, cranial portion of the cervix the head end of the cervix and now in a moment um, everything will be released and the fluid will be run into uh, the mare's uterus. So now the fluid's being run back out and through the filter and the trick with the filter is to make sure that you have a little bit of fluid sitting in the bottom so that if that embryo or technically actually it's an expanded blastocyst does come down there it's not going to bang its head against the filter you want it to go into the fluid portion. And that's the tricky art of maintaining a little bit of fluid in the bottom of the filter. Starting and stopping and starting and stopping the recovery because if you do that uh, the embryo will be sucked up towards the cervix and then when you shut off the filter and the drainage or slow it down then the weight of the embryo will cause it to settle back down into the uterine body and then you open up the filter again and it creates a suction again and the embryo gets floated back up to the top and then doesn't quite make it to the cervix again and once again you shut it down it sinks back to the bottom and you end up not recovering the uh, conceptus. So once the mare has been flushed the embryo uh, hopefully will have been trapped in the filter which we're looking at here and uh, then that will be taken back to the lab and a search will be done which we'll uh, see in a little bit and the mare herself can go off and continue on her 
career, whether she be uh, a competition mayor or whether she's going to go off and be bred again in order to have another foal potentially this year or even possibly be sold. So what we're going to do is take some fluid that's been drawn up into a needle and syringe. We're going to drain down the filter slightly here um, and then rinse off the lid with that fluid that's in the needle and syringe. Uh, drain down a bit more again, remove the air bubbles that you can see on there and then transfer the remaining fluid, rinsing it out, into the search dish. Then we'll go under the dissecting microscope and search for the embryo.